Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. In our group, UK Cricket Creators, we offer anywhere between six and eight free to attend virtual events a month. And as part of those, we do Dreaming Tree 3D builds. So we are doing the Noel light up boxes. These are so cute. I'm going to show you how you get them onto your computer, how you bring them into design space, how you can make them A4 suitable, and also how you can change them slightly if you want to. So first thing we're going to do is add this to our cart and then purchase it. We're then going to go to my account. We're going to select downloadable products. I actually purchased the Home for Christmas bundle, but you can purchase it as an individual file or a bundle file. We can then download that to our computer. We can then find it in our downloads and open it. Again, I got the bundle, but if you've got the bundle, you're looking for the Noel light up. And if it's individual, then you'll just see that folder. We can select it. There's a PDF and a JPEG. We're going to go into the SVG. These are our perforated cut lines. And then in the extra folder, we've got the solid score lines. I prefer perforated cut lines as I think you get a beautiful fold, but some people prefer the solid score lines because it's easier to work with. But I'm going to use the perforated cut lines. I can either select all of these and copy and paste them to my pictures and I can then upload them to Design Space via my pictures folder or I can do it where they currently are. I'm in Design Space, I'm going to go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and I can browse either my pictures or my downloads. I can find the correct SVG, open it up, and then I can start bringing in each of these files. So I can select Open. I always keep the name as I think Leo labels them really well. I might want to give it a tag as Noel Box and then upload. And I'm going to do this for each and every one of those files within that SVG folder. Once I've uploaded them all, I can then select them all. And there are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 parts to this file that we need to add to our canvas. So the first thing I like to do is actually separate them into color sections. And I just find that this makes it easier on myself. So first up, we've got our Christmas trees, which you are going to need to cut out in 12 by 12. The only way you can make these smaller is if you make the whole file smaller. So you could, if you wanted to, grab everything, align and center, just because that's the easiest way to do it, group them together, and then make this smaller if you wanted to. I want to keep it as it is, though. So I'm just going to keep those as they are and cut them out in 12 by 12. I've then got some teal vellum panels. It's going to be very difficult to find teal vellum. So personally, I just use white vellum and then I colour it using either inks or alcohol pens. And I've got these vellum pieces as well. These are both A4 already, so I don't need to do anything with those. I've got these elements here. Again, this is set to A4. And these are actually the bases of our Christmas trees. So I can move them down here because I don't need to do anything with those. I've then got these gold foil panels. Now these are currently set to 12 by 12. And if we look at our image, you'll see that these are the pieces that go round our boxes. So to separate these to A4, I'm just going to duplicate it. And with the duplicate, I'm going to open up my contour. And I'm just going to contour these two boxes away. This is then A4 suitable. I can then select this one, open up my contour, and then take away these six. So those are now separated into A4 pieces. 
we're going to separate these pieces from these pieces first of all and the easiest way to do that is to get a shape like a square and we're going to bring our square over unlock it and drag it so it's over those two sections we're then going to highlight round and slice and don't forget you can only slice two layers at a time that then separates these with these now these are all the same size so all we're going to do is duplicate this like so we can then open up the contour on this one and contour those out if we then duplicate this we can then contour one of those boxes away and then with this one we can contour away those two so we've got four of these and then eight of these these and then these I'm going to put on the same sheet and we can then select those and attach them together because they are then A4 these we have to keep as 12 by 12 unless we reduce the whole file down and then these which sit on top of our main part of our box so our pattern pieces we can nice and easily separate these so I'm going to get shape and a square I'm going to bring my square over to this bottom layer unlock it make sure that it's sat over that bottom layer but not over the next layer or the next line I should say highlight and slice and that's then going to separate those into two A4 sections if I want to do something like change out the snowflakes for example I can duplicate one of these or duplicate this open up my contour and then hide all contours so I'm left with just a box I can then line that up over that area so let me just zoom in if I select that base and just the base and open up my contour I can hide that snowflake I could then go to images search for a snowflake search for snowflake I could find myself a snowflake like this one set it up so it's sat in the center of that box and that's nice and easy to do I'm just going to use my layers panel hold down my shift key and select that box and then align and center I can then slice my snowflake out of that box and if we move this using our arrows key we can then see that we can see that we've got a red snowflake we don't need that so we can delete that if we then select just the box not the box and the score lines but just the box hold down our shift key and then select just our snowflake we can then slice that snowflake out of the box so we're going to delete the slice result and then our score lines we can arrange and send them to front and then attach those back together so we can if we want to change out the snowflakes and we could in fact change out the letters and all of that as well so you've got quite a few options with this just make sure that you are being methodical that if you're going to do that and that you're using your layers panel to help you also don't forget that once you're done you need to come through and attach all of your score lines to your boxes and we would want to change these ones with these ones
If you've got any comments or questions, you can ask us in the group, you can send us messages on Messenger, or of course you can ask below, we will help you. You need to make sure for this event that everything is pre-cut and we will see you on the day. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.